Hello Gemini and welcome to your weekly messages from the universe. Gemini, we are going to be looking at some tarot cards and oracle cards to deliver the messages that I have for you. I want to remind you to have a look at your sun sign, your moon sign and also your ascendant sign because by doing so you get a much fuller picture of the energies that you are working with this week. If you don't know where your planets are i have linked in the description box below a website you can go and input all your details and you will get your own natal chart calculated for you if you could subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell that would be awesome gemini as i release videos for you every single day so gemini i can see that you have two major arcana cards that you are working with this week which means that you have a lot of powerful energies that you are working with. And the first major kind of card that you have is the card that speaks about faith. This is a beautiful card because it sees you focused internally about perhaps what is going on in the world, perhaps what is going on in your own life. And how what is going on outside in the world is reflecting back to you. Changes, possibilities, maybe even challenges. The card of faith is the card that speaks about that universal connection where we realize how we are connected to the divine. How we are connected also to everyone that is on this planet and not only everyone. This also includes the plants, the flowers, the animals, and everything else that is here. And I see you really coming from your heart center, Gemini, and wanting to make improvements through your faith, through your intuition, through your higher power. There's just this feeling of being connected to something greater than yourself. Maybe you want something that gives you faith, that gives you hope, that gives you meaning. Something that reminds you that you are deeply loved and cared for by the divine. The number five card is a card that speaks about changes. It can speak also about challenges, conflicts, maybe. And so maybe you are going through your own conflicts and challenges and these are the things that are making you realize that when all hope is lost sometimes the only thing that we have is our faith so this card is encouraging you to make that connection to the divine to make that connection through your faith to something greater than you because in doing so this is where you get inspiration this is where you get that power to carry on and we're seeing that the next card you have for you gemini is is the wheel of fortune another card that speaks about change so there's definitely this energy of the wheels turning the winds of change are here but i love the energy of the wheel of fortune because it is the energy that speaks also about luck it's about divine protection. Life is always changing, is always evolving, is always challenging us to ascend to higher planes because we are seeing that we have this darkness here. And I feel that this darkness that is here is what has prompted you to connect to the divine, to connect to something greater than you. And in doing so, we can see you mutating the darkness to lightness, to something that is brighter, indicating that there are brighter days ahead, indicating that if you are willing to take the chance and roll the dice of life and dance with the changes, you could actually be feeling inspired. You could actually be feeling excited and filled with adventure. Because when change arises, this is when we feel alive. And there is something here, Gemini, that sees you being able to understand the darkness and the lightness and how to remain centered and balanced 
and how to remain excited knowing that you are connected to something greater than yourself. The Wheel of Fortune card is a card that speaks about cycles. You're understanding that life is about changes, about cycles. Life is about the ups and downs and everything else. I mean, as humans, we always want to stay in that energy of summertime. But you, Gemini, you're understanding that sometimes winter has to come. So that all the old habits and all the old things that need to die away can die away. And then when spring arrives, you can build something anew. And then when summer gets here, this is you feeling joyous and happy, dancing to your own tune. I really love the energies of here. Sorry, the energies that I hear for you, Gemini. Because it's the energies of faith. And taking that faith, mutating that. To build on something that sees you flying higher, knowing that you are divinely protected and luck is on your side. So you have beautiful energies that you're working with. Remember to connect to the divine. So we are looking now at the oracle cards to see what the oracle cards have to say. And the oracle cards are here to say a win-win outcome is here for you. So there's something here on the horizon that is creating this win-win situation because we have the energy here of Libra, the energy that is balanced, that is centered. And we see you here as the wheel of fortune, staying really balanced as these wheels and the cogs are turning. You are staying balanced, you are staying focused, you are staying centered. So for you, this is that heads up to say, Stay focused on what you are creating. Stay focused in your spiritual practices. If this is meditation, if this is prayer, if this is whatever it is that you love doing, stay focused on that also. Because the two energies together are going to create this energy of luck, this energy of being divinely protected. We're seeing that the next card we have is saying that there's a conclusion that is going to be arriving for you. So maybe before you can move on through these changes that are on the cards for you, you have to make some conclusions. You have to close some doors before you can open new doors, before the wheel of fortune starts turning again. And as you close this door and open something else, this is you feeling lucky. This is you maybe having that lucky break that you have been praying for for quite some time. We see again that there's this energy that is really asking you to, again, balance. The word of this week for you, Gemini, is going to be balance. Balancing your spirituality and also remembering to staying practical. Because the warning for you here, Gemini, is if you just stay in that energy of praying and hoping. This is where you can start feeling like nothing is happening. The wheels are turning, but this luck is not on your side because you are just staying in the energy of praying and hoping and praying. But the divine is saying, Gemini, it's time to also be practical because we can see that as the wheel is turning, our girl has to move her feet. So she's just being practical and not just hoping that if she just keeps her eyes closed, everything is going to work out for the best. You are being reminded that you are a co-creator with the divine. This is your spiritual practices. And also remembering that as a human, you actually have to go and put in the time, the effort and the work that is required to create the successful outcome that you are hoping for. So we are seeing that the energy that you are working with is the earth energy, the energy that is grounded. It's a beautiful energy and we are going to look at this in the book to see what the author wants you to know. So we have number 26. All right. So Gemini, as you focus on this card, I will read for you. 
And so the earth, stable, secure and abundant, the energy of earth nurtures life and promotes long, leisurely pleasures. The things that we need, the things that we want and the material things of value are expressed here. Bring the quality of earth to a situation through generosity of your material goods, resources and time. Earth is slow and sure. So take time. Do not be in a hurry. Create a calm place in the center of a chaotic energy. So again, you are being reminded to stay centered as the wheels are change of changes are turning you are remaining centered, you are remaining grounded, you are remaining balanced. So really enjoy the energies that are here for you and remain really focused on your balance because you don't want to fall off that wheel of fortune. Remember that luck is here, but utilize that luck through being practical and also being spiritual, remaining balanced between the two energies. I wish you all the best of luck, Gemini. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and your family. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. On that note, I'm going to see you very soon and it's a goodbye from me.